Hey YouTube, uh, this is Turf Tech, and I am just going to show you a thing I made here in the garage. Uh, I was on Welding Web the other day, and uh, the subject came up of welding in the garage and uh, dealing with the fumes. And I've been dealing with that exact problem, so I came up with this solution right here. Uh, it's funny, I'd actually just come up with it before that thread uh, came on. Uh, but it, it's been really cold here, cold enough that I, I, I get the garage warmed up and I don't want to open the door because it's, you know, negative five outside. Uh, at the same time, the garage fills up with smoke fumes. So here's what I did. You can get a fume extractor for a lot of money or you can go to Home Depot and buy a bathroom exhaust fan. That one cost $13.97. And then I also bought this black tube. Uh, it's a four inch tube, it says it's four inches, it's actually three and a half inches uh, wide in diameter, kind of like two by four, so only three and a half inches wide. Uh, but I bought that, I bought 10 feet of that, it cost me uh, $5.49 for that. And so I, I came home and uh, took the two and then uh, I took this guy here, this, uh, this exhaust fan, and I wired it up to an old uh, a cord that I had. Uh, I save old cords, things like that. But if you don't, you can go buy a cheap extension cord for less than a dollar, a dollar at the most. Uh, they have them at the dollar store all the time. And, uh, and then you can use that. Wired it in, and then I made a little hook. It's gonna be hard to see because of the, the light shining on there. Sorry about that, but I made a little hook out of a uh, quarter inch round bar and then just took some uh, baling wire and made this little uh, cage that suspends the uh, the exhaust fan over my welding table and then uh, to attach the pipe I just uh, wound some of that that baling wire through one of the, the narrow parts uh, in, the, uh, in the, the this is actually an irrigation pipe so you'll find it in the sprinkler area and uh, it's an irrigation drain pipe is what it is. And you want to make sure you get the non-perforated. But I, I just wrapped it around there, wrapped it tight, and then made two hooks. So this whole thing just pops off. If I just slide those hooks off, uh, it comes apart, and I can put it away. Let me climb down off my stool here, and I'll show you what I did on the other end. So you follow it uh, this way. It, it hangs uh, at about six and a half, seven feet high, plenty high for me to walk under. I've got a little tiny hook right there for my power cord. So if I was welding, I would just go ahead and plug this in. And you can hear the fan going now. And sucking up, if I was welding, it would be sucking up my, my fume plume. Or if I was grinding or something, it would be sucking up dust. And then over here at the window, I just took a 2x6, uh, cut a 3.5 inch diameter hole in it, Use some duct tape to seal uh, the, uh, you know, I, I put the, the drain pipe through the hole and then sealed it up with duct tape. If you wanted it to look nicer, you could use uh, screws or something. And then that just closes into the window. To hold it uh, firmly in place and to keep the airflow from coming through, I also added a little bit, I don't know if you can see it or not, I think you'll be able to see it, a, li a little bit of rubber hose at the top and the bottom that I just attached with screws. Works great. Uh, it uh, allows me to keep the garage warm and to get rid of smoke and fumes and the whole solution uh, costs less than $20. Took me, oh, maybe a half hour to do the whole thing. Something like that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Happy welding, happy uh, time in the garage, and uh, be safe.